Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ebony. I am a human design reader, expert, and coach. And today we are talking about how to clear your head. Now, this is going to be especially helpful if you have an undefined crown center because people who have an undefined crown center can get a little overwhelmed <laughs> with all of the things that are going on in their head. You know, the worry, the doubt, the fear, the overwhelm. You can feel like a hot mess. I know. I've been there. I have an undefined crown center. So this video is going to be about how to clear your head, how to ground yourself and get into your body and kind of clear out that mental chit chat. All right. So the first thing that I personally love to do is allow yourself to indulge. Okay. Have the ice cream, have the long bubble bath, take the long stroll around the rose garden or whatever. Whatever will feel like an indulgence for you, like a little treat for you, allow yourself to do that. And while you're doing it, really be present with it. Like don't just do it just like, oh, I'm gonna do this to, to numb myself and, and get away from get away from you know the mental whatever. No. Really be present while you're doing it, while you're indulging in this treat or this time to yourself or this thing that you don't normally allow yourself to do, really be present with that. Just the act of being present, first of all, will probably help tremendously. But especially while being present, especially being present while doing something that you really, really enjoy, works wonders. Um, get into the sun, <laughs> get into nature, but specifically getting into the sun. I like to think of us as plants, okay? I know we're not actually plants, but it's very, very important that we have some sort of access to the sun every single day. I don't have any scientific evidence to back this up. I can't tell you why getting into the sun, just putting my face towards the sun works for me. It just does, okay? You can also try putting your feet into the ground, onto the grass, like grounding yourself and being in the sun. Oh, there's nothing like it. So there's that. Um, oh, connect with a friend. I have found that my mental chit chat kind of quiets down when I get around certain people. Not all people, no, some people make it worse. But there are specific people in my life who when I get around them, it gets quiet up here. It gets real quiet up here. Kind of scary, but very, very nice. I don't feel like I'm searching for answers. I don't feel like there's all these overwhelming thoughts or all these intrusive thoughts. It's just kind of quiet, kind of like a, an ocean with no waves. Like it's peaceful and it's calm. If you don't have people like that, I'm sorry. <laughs> but really pay attention to the people that you hang around. Who are those people that kind of shut your mind off a little bit? Okay? Be mindful of that. Um take this is oh, this is a big one. This is this is a, this is a big one. Write your ideas down. For me, I know having an undefined crown center, I have all kinds of things just kind of coming in and out of my head. I like to write things down and that keeps it that kind of quiets the whole this going on in my mind if i can get it down on paper up here it, it, it shuts up a little bit which is great so if you have ideas flying in and out of your head or questions flying in and out of your head and it's getting overwhelming try writing them down you could do like journaling if you want, you do automatic writing or free flow writing or whatever, but getting it done on paper can be very, very helpful with, you know, shutting off the, the constant noise up here, you know? Um, take some practical steps towards a goal. What I have found personally with my Undefined Crown Center is that it tends to peak up more when I feel like I am not doing enough. When I feel like there's something that I need to be doing that I'm not doing, or there's some plan that I've created that I'm not taking action on. So when I get very present with myself and I come back down into my body and I decide, you know what, I'm gonna take this small step 
to bring this idea in my head to fruition. So if it's a new, let's say I have an idea for a new program that I want to run, I'll start outlining it. That doesn't mean I'm going to do it. I mean, I may, but it doesn't mean I'm going to do it. But just the, 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 the act of getting it all down on paper, getting, mapping out a plan is enough to kind of occupy my brain a little bit and keep and, and quiet the chatter down, basically. Um, if it's like a new, like say I have a new fitness goal that I want to do, I will start looking for fitness classes. Like I want to, um, uh, what's that called? Cycling, like the, the cycling classes. I would love to try one of those, even though I hear the seats are very uncomfortable. I would love to try one of those. So when that idea came into my head and all these questions like, oh, you don't even like riding a bike and the this and blah, 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 I just started researching it. And after a while, I found that the mental chatter in my head shut off, which was great. Um, connect with your purpose. I have found that the more I lean into the idea of why I believe I'm here, the incessant chatter in my head starts to shut off. And I, maybe it's because I'm connecting with a higher version of myself, maybe it's because I'm occupying my mind with some other existential problem that it needs to solve, but when I really sit and think about why I'm here, the purpose I'm here to fulfill, the impact that I'm here to have, I get so embodied, like there's just a moment where there is no mind and there is no body, it's just me. And everything is quiet and the, the whatever's coming out of me, whatever I'm thinking about at that time, it's just me and that. And I think that's the magic of actually connecting with your purpose and of knowing about human design because it gives you an insight into what your purpose is and your gifts and your talents and your skills and how you process things. So that is another tip. And my last tip is meditation. And the reason why I put meditation on this list is number one, I love meditation. I'm a certified meditation teacher. And number two, I have a mindfulness library. <laughs> my mindfulness library has launched there's a few different meditations in it now at this point, and it is $22.22 a month. Basically, it's going to be filled with meditations, guided visualizations, breath work, yoga flows, yoga nidra, all of these things in, in, in one place. And they're going to be based on, well, geared towards human design. So right now I have meditations for each energy type, which I also have on my channel, but I'm also going to have meditations for each center, for each gate, for the variables and all of these things. I'm so excited to continue building it. And if you sign up before the end of January, you will actually get two months free. So if you are interested in signing up for my mindfulness library, the link will be in my description. And that is actually it for this video. So I hope this was helpful for you and I will see you in the next one.